Hey guys, welcome to the training tonight. I know it's Hall Halloween and um, a lot of you are pretty busy, but I've got a very busy weekend of travel and things, and so I wanted to go ahead and get this done tonight. I feel like one of those plumbers that you know, fixes everybody else's plumbing that don't have time to fix their own. And so I've been so lacking in the trainings because I've been doing so much work, which is awesome. I love what I do and, um, you know, love increasing in my business profits, but I also am in that p weird place of trying to figure out how to keep up the um, online aspect of it. So Anyway, I just want to apologize for not doing what I need to do. I don't know when it's going to change, but hopefully I can figure out a schedule. I do really well with schedules. Uh, but anyway, so tonight I wanted to talk about a very important piece. And I'm actually not going to talk about it. I'm going to literally take you through the steps on tonight's training of doing this. And that is um, setting up your email uh, marketing platform. A lot of people say that email is dead and that is not correct. Email is one of the um, strongest ways you can build your business if it's done correctly, especially if you're an online business, but even if you're a local mom and pop brick or mortar brick and mortar business. So email is not dead. It is um, requiring us, however, to be more strategic uh, up the value of our content even more and make sure that it's not spammy, uh, that it instead builds relationships. Now, I no longer use MailChimp. I've actually switched to ConvertKit because with ConvertKit, uh, I can see all my analytics and uh, what people click on, what they open, things like that, so I can be more targeted. I've not yet utilized that to the degree I need to, but uh, if you uh, definitely have it in your budget for $30 a month to up your game, ConvertKit is a good one to go with. But MailChimp I used for years, and it was free for a long time, and then I did start paying, I believe it was like $10 a month, but they didn't have the analytics at the time. Now, if they ever get as sophisticated as I need, then I may go back because I absolutely loved them. And I do like uh, ConvertKit as well, but uh, MailChimp is a great, great platform to get you started and start capturing that stuff. Now, you may be asking, well, how do I capture emails? Because, uh, you know, that's the whole purpose of it so that you can uh, then target people with your uh, ads, with your um, you know discounts and sales and uh, any new products and things that you're doing, events. And the best way is to create a high quality freemium or opt-in. And I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that in the next couple months, like literally walk you through my process. And uh, if you have not watched the one on the easiest way to be, and fastest way to build your email list, uh, you need to go to the Facebook marketing training on my site and watch that one because it's how to create a quiz. And I take you through the entire process of creating a quiz from the research, picking the topic, all of that stuff, and then actually uh, step by step going through how to create it in tryinteract.com. And so I believe in just showing you guys, and um, that's a really good one. But you can also create a swipe file, a cheat sheet. There's so many things. So I'm going to take you through my process and then literally show you how I create beautiful opt-ins. And uh, so um, it doesn't really do you any good, though, to have an opt-in if you don't have a way to capture those emails. And that's why we're doing this training tonight. One final thing is a great way to get your emails uh, is uh, Facebook ads. So think of this as like almost like a step one. You've got to have a way to capture those emails when they opt in for your freemium or when you want them to grab that coupon or whatever it is to come into your store. So what I'm going to do is transition here to MailChimp. I've got it open in Safari. So let me get over there. Okay, so uh, the first thing we're going to do is sign up for free. And you can have, it used to be up to a thousand emails on your list before they start charging you, and then it was only $10. But let's go back and look and see if that's still the case, because I've not used them for a long time. 
Okay, so... Hmm, it doesn't really say... Oh, here we go. Okay, so you can have up to 2,000 contacts, and then they do segmentation and behavioral targeting. Interesting, so I guess they've added that. That's, that's very interesting. It might be worth looking... Um, back at this. So uh, one of the neat things with these email marketing platforms is you can create landing pages. So this is like a beautiful, um, you know, page that people can go to to get your opt-in. So let me show you one that I've created on ConvertKit. And uh, there's actually a science behind how they design the um, landing pages. And so if you click the brand personality quiz up here, then you've got this landing page. And having the, the text narrow, having the different colors, of, you know, a graphic, things like that, will get you more uh, opt-ins than, uh, you know, just a plain Jane thing. So anyway, um, this is a landing page. And so MailChimp now offers that, so that's really neat. And uh, they've always done, ooh, pop-up forms. I think that's pretty new. So they've definitely got some neat things in here for you. And, um, but for now, we're gonna do free. And uh, so I'm going to put, and I'll probably just delete this account when I get done, but I might just kind of look in there and see what all the new stuff is. And then for username, I think I'll put, um, Sherry Ann, and then you strong, get started. Oh, someone else is using that, okay. So I'm gonna just put brand like a boss. That, um, that is actually the name of my course that I'm developing, right? A lot of this stuff that I'm going through with you, I will be teaching there. I am not a robot. Okay, so that was the sign up process. I'm gonna say I want free. All right, now you tell a little bit about myself. Okay, so I'm gonna type this stuff in. And we're just gonna go through this together. That way you can see exactly what it's about. So what is the name? And so I'm just gonna go ahead and say brand like a boss and then Put all this information in here. Hmm. Well, if y'all want to mail me some stuff, I guess you'll know where I live now. Okay, do you have a list of email? I'm going to say no. Click continue, So we're starting from scratch. Um, you can connect your Facebook accounts and stuff, but I don't want to do that right now. And then let's find your marketing path. So whether you're brand new or an experienced marketer, we'll have the tools to get you going. Well, let's go ahead and go in there and see what they say. Do you want people to talk one-on-one -on -one with a person? So this could be phone, online, or at a location. So if you're a brick and mortar, or a church, or consultant, etc., you would say yes. I'm gonna say no, because mine is online. Do you make money off the content on your site? Yes. I actually do the other two, but I want to focus on the online. Do your customers interact with your business mostly through your software or apps interface? No. Do you sell things online? Yes. Do you support bookings, ticket sales? No. Nope. Okay. Which statement best represents your organization's primary goal? People continuously interacting with the content I create or people buying things from me online? Ooh, I'm going to have to say engagement because engagement will lead to purchases. Um, but that may be something you know you want to think about. And then do you want to stay in the loop? Not really. All right, so we're ready to go. Okay, so if you have a store, you would connect it. I do not want to do that right now. Okay, so start uh, designing your first email. I do recommend, um, the, the interesting thing with MailChimp is they have what's called templates. Now, research has shown that people will read your email more if it's just the text, like a traditional email. 
Uh, but you can get as fancy as you want. I mean, as you can see here, there's like a simple text. If you want to showcase some products, quite frankly, I'm not sure if I agree with that research because I like pictures in mine. I like jiffies. And so I don't know. I, I'm just not sure about it, but you can create several different templates um, with, uh, you know, specific goals in mind. So if you want to have one where you're going to showcase a product, that would be one template. If you want to just have a regular email that goes out every week with your latest blog post, then you can design that. And once you design your templates, then what's neat is that you don't have to come back in here and redesign it every single time. So, educate. Um... Hmm, I might go with one of these that uh, is featured. Actually, I wonder what the themes are. Oh, now this is cool. Okay, so this is where you can see a lot of different ones. So these were the lay layouts. These are the themes. And uh, so you've got, you know, the featured ones where you're, you know, talking about um, newsletters or your products and services. You have e-commerce and it shows you different emails for that. Um, then you have events, holiday, which can be kind of handy. Uh, integrations, if you're doing um, survey monkey stuff, which is an awesome tool. And then of course we have like newsletters and celebrations and elegance. So you can see that you've got all these different layouts and you can change the colors and all that stuff. So you don't have to stick with the colors that you see. Notifications, which those would be really neat to use. Um, and it looks like it's just for paid notes or paid uh, subscriptions. But the reason I say that is see how small they are. People will read stuff if there's not as much text. And then postcards, stationery, like it's, you know, a letter. And then subscriber alerts. Okay. So... You also have saved templates. If you've created some, this is where they'll be. Campaigns, if you've sent any, they'll be in here. And then you can also code your own uh, templates. So I think what I'm gonna do, because I wanna show you how to use these, is I am going to go with, I don't want one with a logo. I may have to do it, but I think I'll go with this, um, oh. I guess with the unpaid, you have to go with whatever they tell you. So I'm gonna go with this one, and it'll open us up into your uh, design dashboard. And so, you know, if you've got a logo, you would put it up here. Uh, I don't have one, so I'm not gonna worry about it. And then right here, when you click on this box, you'll edit over here on the right. And uh, so I'm going to say, um, let's see here, uh, free Facebook marketing training. Okay, so I don't want this to have two lines, so I'm going to mess around. I don't want it to be that small, though. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change the font size until I like how it looks in there. Okay, so I like that. And then I want my background color to be different. I want it to be branded. So I'm gonna go with the yellow because I have a lot of yellow and black and white. And you could also put an image back here. And then on this, I think what I'm gonna do is go to, oops, go to white. You know, I kinda like the brown though, but and then, what about this square? Let's see here. There's a way. Oh, here we go. Okay, so the font. You can go with all these different fonts here. I love Trebuchet. So I'm going to pick that one. And then settings. We just have one column. And you know, I think I will just go to... Um, back to the black, because I kind of like that. It pops a little bit better. You can see it better. Because remember, a lot of people will be on their cell phones, and so you want to make sure they can read it on there. 
And now I'm going to add a photo here. So you'll go into replace. So you click on the photo, you go to replace, and then this is where you can upload some products. So I'm going to, a picture of some products. So I'm going to scroll through because I do have a graphic for the Facebook training along with a lot of other graphics. I think I might use this one. Let me see. I need to check it out first. And what's also neat is you can do like jiffies. That's really cool. Okay, yeah, I like this one. I use this for a Facebook ad. And what I like about this one is it's got my face. Now, um, I could just not have this at all. Let me show you. And then what will happen, if I'm not mistaken, is that will it just be yellow up there? Yeah, but I really don't like that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go to white because I want it to disappear. Now I'll go to preview. There, see I like that. Okay, because the yellow clashed with that and I don't wanna take the time to figure out what yellow that is. And I do recommend that you use your face as much as possible in your emails, even though it probably feels weird because um, people like you more the more they see your face. Now I want to add my text down here. So I'm going to click in here and um, I'm going to put something like, no joke, step by step Facebook marketing training okay and I'm gonna go down here training is from a series I conducted at the at my local Chamber of Commerce designed for small businesses to utilize one of the best return on investment marketing tools, Facebook ads for literally pennies on the dollar you can bring those who want to shop with you to your store. You'll learn, let's see, what did I say? You'll learn um, everything from setting up a Facebook business page that keeps people coming, oops, people coming back to creating beautiful graphics and engaging videos along with progress bar and closed captioning to um, keep people coming back to creating beautiful closed captioning to launching your ad for as little as 70 a month you'll transform your business okay something like that okay so you get your text and everything in there obviously check for you know any uh mistakes and then see how it's a gray? I don't really like that. I wanna go ahead and go with black. Now, sometimes I will go with the gray color, uh, but for right now, I want it to match the, the black here. And then the button. So I'm gonna click um, Get Started. And then I will do a web address. So what I'm gonna do is go over here to my website And then I am going to go to Facebook training. And as you can see, I've got all the training, but also some extras that I need to mention. And I just uploaded the latest training on actually launching your ad with the worksheets if anybody wants to watch that. But I'm gonna grab this link. 
I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna copy or paste it, save and close. Now I'm gonna go back here. I, let's see, I've also included two bonus trainings on building your email list using quizzes and three analytics tools to use to target your audience even better. Okay, now I don't want this blue here, but uh, what the way I look at any of your buttons, they need to be action colors. And so they either need to be like a red or a yellow or an orange. And um, so what I might do is go down to like a, a red. Yeah, I like that. Um, Cause it just is screaming, you know, push me or click on me. Okay, so I don't want any of this down here. So I'm just gonna click, you know, delete. But if you had a couple products that you wanted to highlight, you would just put them in here. But for now, delete. Okay. All right, now I've deleted. Um, you can also add blocks, which I'll show in a second. But down here, notice your uh, social media. So you just click on the edit and you can delete. Uh, so I don't have Twitter, so I'm gonna hit this minus sign. And you would just add your Facebook name. Now let me show you where that's at, because a lot of people don't know that. And if you've not set up one, you need to. But if I go over here to my, which by the way, guys, you might um, follow me on my Facebook page too. But if you go onto your Facebook business page, see this right here, this little at, that is your handle for Facebook. And so that's where you put it right here. And then Instagram is also the same thing. And then of course the website. If you don't have a website, you can just delete it. And then you can also add another one. So you can add email if you want people to be able to email you. And they should have LinkedIn. Yeah, you can add LinkedIn, which if you're a business to business, you need to have LinkedIn on here. So we'll do a save and close. You can change the color of the of this down here, but I kind of like it, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, so let's say that I want to add a video. I would just drag this over. If I want to add code or maybe a promo code, um, something like that. So you can definitely do that. If I wanted to add uh, maybe another image or a image group, you can do that. So I'll just drag one over and then I'm going to go down and I'm going to drop it here after the button. And then probably what I'm going to do is go over to my, well, actually, I'll just go to my web page and grab the URL link of one of my Facebook trainings. I'm going to pause it because I don't want you to have to listen to me. Double. And then I'm going to go over here to share and copy. And I'll go back over to my campaign. And I'm going to put the video URL here. Click here to get started. Save and close. Okay. So see, it has that right there. If you don't want any text, you can just hit that and it disappears. And then I don't want that to be gray. So I'm gonna go down here and make it white. Save and close. Okay. And so if I had that, I would probably keep the writing and then I would move the button. Now, I don't like where the button is. So I'm gonna come over here and see this little plus sign. I'm gonna drag it down to under the video right there. Okay, so we'll take, take it there. All right, so I've got everything how I want it, but again, you can do, you know, a bunch of designs and, you know, all kinds of stuff, but I'm going to save as template and I'm going to put um, training. And so what that means is next time I add content that I want to direct people to, 
uh, I can just, instead of creating a whole new template like we just did, I can then use this one and I'm good to go. Now you click save and close. And this is where you need to have recipients. And so you would have been building your, um, your list already by your Facebook ads and stuff. So, you know, we're just getting this set up. So because we don't have any emails to put in here, you know, we can't go through that. But if you did, you want to organize them by audience and, uh, and then um, who it's from, the subject line, and then you can go back in and edit. But what I really like about um, MailChimp is you can send yourself a test email and make sure it works. Um, you can also edit the name and, um, and different things like that. So if we did have your email list, this is where it would go. Now, um, I'm not gonna get into the automate right now. I do wanna show you landing pages and so a landing page is really neat because you can use that, like I showed you on mine, to send people to, uh, to capture that email. So I'm gonna say um, brand quiz, begin. And it's gonna be very similar to what I just showed you. So you can do something like this, something like this. Um, I recommend very simple. You'll want a pretty graphic, etc. This is very effective, this one right here. So I'm just gonna go with that. And then I'm gonna grab an image. Oh wait, I'm gonna go over here. And then replace, and I'm just gonna grab this image. And then right here and then I would type some text here we'd have the email address etc and then we would go to save and close I'd add a page title, brand quiz, add URL, and I would say brand quiz save. And then this right here is the link that I would then use on my website where right here there's a link that takes them to my convert kit, see? And so I would go in there and add that. Now, how it's added depends on your website platform. So with my Squarespace, and I'm sure probably most of them, um, I would, uh, I mean, I'm betting it would be very similar. You would go into your pages where they're being designed or just send the link over to your, your web uh, designer and you can add it, you know, um, here if you wanted. Um, I think I have it, yeah, right here. So if I click on edit and I go right here and hit edit, um, this is where you can see my link and that's where you would put the link I just grabbed. Um, another thing that uh, Squarespace has and a lot of other ones is if you go down to marketing and then announcement bar, this is where I would put that landing page link I just grabbed. And then if you wanted to do a nice pop-up, um, you would design it and see where the yes is. That is where my link is, okay? So when people click it, let me make sure it works, yeah it'll go to my landing page. So that link is what you use for your buttons and for your different um, pop-ups and things like that to get them to this down here to capture the email. And then when you go into audience, all those wonderful um, emails you, you captured would be right here. And then eventually you can organize them, et cetera, et cetera. But I just wanted to show you how to get started this is a first step. You can do ads, um, you can do postcards, you can do a social post, a sign-up form or a pop-up, but really 
to utilize this the best, email and landing pages are really um, awesome for you. And it's free for the first 2,000 people that sign up. So that is the gist. Let me get back over here to my face. So anyway, I hope this helps you guys. Like I said, anybody, an online store or uh, maybe you have a, a, you know, a brick and mortar store can use this and capture those emails. You can also manually add emails that you've already got. Um, you know, just go in there, add contact, put the information in, and then you have to check that they've given you permission, which if they've given you their email, you pretty much have permission. So if you're not sure, you can of course email them and contact them, but it is a great way to stay in touch. And I'm not gonna get into how to utilize it to build rapport and things like that, because that's a whole nother training, but emails are still important. You do need this list, you do need to build it. And um, again, if you have something of value, people will be willing to give you their email. Now don't be surprised if some people will put their email in, grab the content and then uh, unsubscribe, that's fine because the more you get, then you have to pay and you don't want just anybody on your email list wasting your time and your money. You want people that want to do business with you and so if someone just wants your freemium and they don't care about you, then that's good. Let them unsubscribe. Don't take it personal and that took me a long time not to do that. So anyway, that is it for this night's training. Be safe out there on Halloween and I will hopefully see you next week.